In this video, I'm going to talk about patent ductus arteriosus. It is a persistent opening between the two major blood vessels, which are the descending thoracic aorta and the pulmonary artery. The opening, what we call as ductus arteriosus, is actually a normal part of the baby's circulatory system in the womb that usually closes shortly after birth. If it remains open, it is abnormal and it's called a patent ductus arteriosus. The symptoms of patent ductus arteriosus, if it is small, it is asymptomatic where there are no symptoms. If it is large, the infant might present with symptoms of heart failure, like recurrent chest infections, poor feeding, dyspnea, and sweating during feeding. On physical examination, we can detect collapsing pulse and also listen for continuous murmur heard loudest beneath the left clavicle. For investigations, we can do chest x-ray, look for prominent pulmonary artery, increased pulmonary vascular markings, and also cardiomegaly. For ECG, we can look for deep Q wave and tall R wave, whereas for echocardiography, it is done to visualize and measure the ductus, direction and volume of shunt. For treatment, <coughs> for conservative treatment, we can do fluid restriction for the infant, or give indomethacin, which is a prostaglandin synthase inhibitor to close the ductus arteriosus opening. And also give diuretics if there is heart failure. For operative treatment, we can do surgical ligation of the ductus or transvenous occlusion with a coil device. That's all from me, thank you.